Hello, my name is Eight Mice in a Box, and welcome back to another episode of Iversian Craft. Today's episode, we're going to do a little bit of building, actually. In today's episode, we're doing some building. I designed something in Creative that we're going to try out. And I think what we want to sell is some food. We've got that Hoglin farm, we've got villagers, we can trade for golden carrots. And food is definitely something that people will need, so we can make some good money off that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the custom model data. We have a little data pack or something where we can change that. And I'm going to retexture the food items to make things a little bit more interesting. So the theme for this shop, though, will be a taqueria. So, yeah, we're going to have, like, tacos, burritos, churros, things like that. I've, I've already put together the tacos, burritos, churros, but in the future, maybe we can add some more. Now, without further ado, it's time for not a time lapse, because replay mod broke again, so I'll just cut over to me showing you around now. Actually, I won't cut to me showing you around now, because we had a slight interruption while building. And then I'll cut to me showing you around. I was just coming over here to get more wheat to make packed mud when I accidentally started a raid. There's one guy left in this wave, and I want to try something to see if I can stop it, maybe? I believe if you remove all the beds in a village, the pillagers think that they've won when they really haven't. But if you think back to how an iron farm works, it needs beds in order to function. If you want a village, you need beds and a workstation. So there's no beds, there's no village. There's no village, there's no raid. That should be all the beds. Aha! Looks like there's a bed over here, so maybe this is the last one. No? This seems like a bit of a stretch, but there's a bed way out here. We're not in the range of the raid, so... Let's see, is the bar gone? I think that was it. No more raid. Where's my axe? There we go. He's dead. And the raid is over. Now we can go place all the beds back. Okay, so... Removing those beds did, in fact... Stop the raid. So if you ever have a raid going and you want it to stop, a pretty good method is just removing all the beds in the village. Now I can go back to collecting wheat so that I can make more packed mud bricks. So that was six hours of my life condensed down into under a minute. But I think now that our taqueria is finally done, it's looking pretty good. Let's take a nice aerial view. Yeah, I think that's looking nice. I really like the the roof. I'm not sure about how this part works with it because some things just seem to it seems to all blend together since the roof is the same as the foundation. But I think I like it. Let's take a look inside now. So I've got some lighting in the floor so that mobs don't spawn. I've got some placeholder items. This is where the burritos are going to go. And this is where the tacos are going to go. And then I'm going to have a bakery over here with like churros. This right here is actually where I've already dug a hole for it. This is where a jukebox is going to go. So it's going to be an automatic jukebox system where it'll play one disc after the other. It'll have the option to like pause and loop, things like that. I've already designed one. I'll just have to put that in. And then that's mostly it for now. This is like the upstairs portion, and there's nothing much up here. And then we can go into the attic area, which is up here. There's not much up here either. Although there is some extra storage. Like I can put extra stuff that I can use for restocking. And then also, this is how you get to right over here. So in here, I've got a dispenser with splash potions of poison and a little platform right here so what this does if i have a bow on me i can load up this crossbow right and if i shoot this target block i won't do it right now but 
It'll open these two trap doors and it'll fire a splash potion of poison. So the plan for this is to put a llama up there, fill the llama with some goodies like maybe coupons, and on opening day we can play with a pinata. So the llama will be tethered to one of these fence posts. It'll drop, get hit with a splash potion of poison, and then that'll take it to pretty low health. And I guess if you're right here, spin around a couple times with a stick or something, and then you go around, maybe you hit it, maybe it doesn't die the first time, but when it does, it drops all the goodies on the floor to be picked up. So I think that is going to be a fun thing on opening day. So there's still a lot of work to be done. I need to get the actual food in, I need to get a llama, and I need to get a jukebox. I'm working on the llama bit right now, but I only have one llama. I got it from the wandering trader. Unfortunately, he killed the first llama. Isn't that right, Larry? Larry spit the other llama to death, which is sad, but I guess now we have this llama. He's got pretty good health. He's got six storage slots. So I was just in the middle of building the jukebox when I found this guy over here. Oh, don't fall in. Um, let's see. He's got his llamas, which I need, but I do not need them to see me murder him. So he, he's not going to, uh, he's just going to sleep forever. Well, does he have any good trades? Maybe I can get some, oh, he got, he went down. Let's see. Yeah, I don't need any of that. Sorry. Oh, oops. Oh man. So I want two just in case, I think. So what I'm gonna do, I hope they don't despawn. I don't really know how that works. But if I go get my name tags, got so much garbage on me. They really need an inventory update. But if I go get name tags, I should be able to save them both, hopefully. I don't know how long it takes for a uh, llama to become unangry, but hopefully not too long. I put some name tags somewhere. Let me probably put them in here. Yes, I don't have my uh, anvil, but it's down here. Margaret Fortes. And then the other one I'll name Steve backwards. Steve, so E-V-E-T-S. -E -E okay, let's hope that they didn't despawn or else I'll be very sad and mad. Okay, I'm here, and let's see if the llamas are. Forgot where they were, they were somewhere around here. Aha, this one will be Margaret with four T's. Hello, Margaret. Where's the other, don't go in there. Okay, where's the other llama? Well, we only needed one anyway. Go up here. Come on, Margaret. Go all the way over to my base. Right over here, right over here. Okay, um, just open this up. Margaret is now here. And we've got two llamas now. We've got Larry and Margaret. Now we breed them. So that means I need some hay bales, I think. I think you need hay bales, so let's... Let's try that. My inventory is very full. I think we're gonna need some shulker boxes at some point. Margaret and Larry. They will now have a baby. Oh, you can be Evit, okay? Evit. So Larry, Margaret, and Evit. I guess we'll wait on Evit to grow up, and then we can get back to breeding with Larry and Margaret. But in the meantime, I'm going back to finish building the jukebox. Okay, so I finished up the jukebox. I'm going to test if it works in a second. This is the play and pause button. It'll stop the jukebox from playing things. It can't pause the song, but it's still good if you want to stop music from playing after the next song. You skip just by right-clicking on this, and it should go into hoppers. And then this puts it in shuffle mode. Okay, so that seems to be working. We do have a slight problem where songs get ejected out the back and land in here somewhere. So, I'm not, I don't think that one did, but if it lands in a hopper, that's 
Good, that's fine. It's supposed to land in a hopper somewhere. Then it goes right into this barrel. So, now I'm going to test shuffle mode. That means if a song ends up in there, it should end up looping through. If we take a look at the red zone, um, we just got these two buttons, right? Here's the shuffle one. It goes into T flip flop. So, when it powers over here, it'll turn on the light. But also, when it's, the light's not on, and it's in not shuffle mode, just locks a hopper taking from the barrel. So in shuffle mode, it'll just take things from the barrel, take it to this dropper uh, water elevator thing, and recycle it. So usually things from the barrels will just go straight into the song. When it's done, it goes into the barrel. And when you eject it, it should go into the barrel because we got hopper minecarts, but sometimes it won't. If we pause, pausing it, where is that? Right here, so, no, not right there. Right here, yeah. So pausing it, T flip flop again. It powers all this here, and locks from taking out of the barrels. So no more songs will be played, hopefully. And then, that's, that's basically it. But what I do want to do is maybe fill in some blocks in the back, so that, I'm going to put these in first. Because sometimes when I eject it, it'll go into the back area, and we don't want that to happen. So if I grab some blocks, we can go back there. Oh, also, I'll need to finish up this bottom bit. I had to change some of it around to fit the jukebox in, so I don't want this dirt bit here, I guess. So just extending the wallet out a little. But yeah, where can I put... So I can put wood right there. I, I don't want to block anything is the issue. Not much other place is going to help it at all. We got that jukebox pretty contained. It could pop up into this, pop out into this space with the hopper possibly. So maybe I'll just add in a employee door, but I guess I'll just close this all up and we're one step closer to being able to have a launch party. So I've been breeding up these llamas, and I've got one ready for a, a test, just to test out our pin llama situation. So here's test dummy. I'll bring him out of here. Okay, it's going to be a pain getting him away from his friends, but go this way. Come on. This way. But we're going to test to make sure that the whole... Oh, no. No, get back here. Okay. We're just going to test to make sure the whole system works. He doesn't want to leave his llama friends and go to... Oh. This is going to be hard. I don't know the, the strategy for this. But maybe go this way first. Get away from those llamas. Well, I guess I'll be back... When I get this guy over... Oh, he just jumped right in. I'll be back. Okay, so we got the llama in here. And where I need him to go is right up by those trap doors. So I'm going to grab... Uh, I'll put him on a fence, actually, for now. Like over here. And I'll build up some dirt so that we can get him up there. I guess dirt there. And then make a staircase. And now we've got a staircase up there, so I should be able to just walk. Let's hope Mr. Llama. Let's see. Aha, so I can crawl through here. I think I need to attach him to this fence post. And our llama is in place. So there's our test dummy. Now all I need is a bow. So load that up with an arrow, and I shoot the target block. So he's dangling, and he was hit with the poison. So then we gotta wait a bit, now that the poison's worn off. Okay, so he's dropped in health a bit. Perfect. Let's see how many hits it takes with basically a bare hand. One, two, three, 
four, five. Oh, he got stuck. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So fourteen hits. That is quite a bit, actually. And we had a problem of him getting stuck on the ledge. I might want to upgrade these to poison two. So I think I can still do that. We don't need. We can upgrade that. So then he'll take a bit more damage. So I'll go do that and I'll bring in a, a new llama. To get a level 2 potion, all you need is glowstone dust, which I have some. So what I'm going to do is put my poison potions in there and put in my glowstone dust. So this will go through. So I'll be left with a level 2 poison potion, which will hopefully damage the llama a bit more. So that the pinata breaks a little more easily. We might also use an iron sword or a diamond sword. I think that could help with things too. But we don't have another test dummy, so we're just gonna hope it works. So I've got my name tag for the Lamiata. And here is our llama. Got six storage space. He's got a lot of hearts, but that should be fine. I'll just grab his lead. And lead him on out of here. I need my hay though. Okay, we're back to the Takaria. And I've got my llama, my Lamiata. I'll put him here. Yeah. And I've got to rebuild that dirt walkway. I'll take my llama up the stairs again. Here we go. Here. I can't push myself down with that trapdoor. And then. Put him up onto the post. Now I just gotta go up into the attic again. And, oh, I fell. So I gotta get him back into his little spot so that I can remove the scaffolding. So let me get out my hay. Okay, he should be off the dirt so I can grab my shovel here. Oh no, he's not off the dirt yet. Get in there. I've got some hay. Perfect. So no more scaffolding, we got our La Miata up there. I think we could do with some more trapdoors to keep him from falling, but I think we're good. But what we need is those poison potions. I upgraded them to poison two. And now we got plenty of poison. So that should make a good La Miata. Now the only thing we're missing is the food. Taco, burrito, and churro. Why? Why do you have fire everywhere, bro? Just get get over here. Listen, you hear it? Turn up all your sounds. Make sure your sounds yeah, all the way. Yeah, that's that's fire crackling. No, no, turn up all your sounds. Are they all up? Do you hear it? Do right you? now, no. How about oh. now? You know how much build up that's had. Yeah, you were like making all these weird, being like, "Oh, do you hear something wrong with this fire right here?" That's the only reason why I made the taqueria too. <laughs> <laughs> That's so stupid. For the There's no. Because I needed the There's... server texture pack, so it wouldn't seem odd. How does the so texture annoying. pack add? You can how, change how does the texture pack. Add mm -hmm. that. You can change sounds, right? So I can I change the sound of putting out a fire to a rickroll. Hey, you've been rickrolled. <laughs> That's uh quite loud. I don't know why it it like sped it up, so now everyone's all high pitched and stuff. And he's like yeah. he sounds like a chipmunk. Alvin and the chipmunk. I shall see you later. I'm just putting some finishing touches on the Takaria because Coco Bean 1 million is coming over for a little opening party. I was going to have it with more than just one other person, but timing wasn't working out too well and I wanted to get this video out some point soon. So welcome everybody to the grand opening of the Takaria. Hello, everybody. Yeah, and I'll be this taking down this block in front of the door.
All right, all right. Welcome in to uh, here's a slide my taqueria. Let me all right. start the music. You hear it? Yeah, I'm hearing it well. Perfect. Well, yeah, welcome. Um, we got all sorts of new foods in here. We got burritos, we got tacos, and over here we got churros. Mm. Plenty of food. All and right, there's right. more to come. I have plans for something right here. Two more baked goods. Okay, so oh. I, I thought we could play a little bit of a game because, well, this is a taqueria after all. Yep. So. Oh. Why, why are you? Oh, it's this a pinata. Called... Yeah. The Lam Yada Pin Lama, I don't know what it's called, but yeah, put on this pumpkin and close your eyes in real life, I guess. What? Alright. I got my, my eyes. My pumpkin's not blocking oh. my vision, but. It um, blocks it get... Yeah. So hit it with your bare fists, I guess. So Wait, with close the... your eyes. Alright. What? Alright, I got my close eyes. Close your eyes in real life. Um, not that the viewers can see it. Yeah, right but... there. So, uh, and now spin around a bunch of times like okay now you get one hit on the llama if you can find it or one swing I guess I'm, I'm just gonna approach the llama if I hear the noises though right yeah that's fine Wait, hold up <laughs> what if I go to the music and then away from the music is the llama right yeah I guess that makes sense <laughs> I'm either in a wall or near the music. <laughs> Hurry up! Alright. <laughs> either I'm going into a wall or this is working. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you to open your eyes now, okay? Uh, wait, where am I? Oh, You're I exited the taqueria! Straight out the door! Um... <laughs> you just left. <laughs> I, I did not turn there. around. Alright, alright. Is it your turn? Because I clearly <laughs> messed that up. Yeah, sure. Let me close my eyes, uh... Spin around... Now... Okay. Let me try to find out where I'm going. Alright. I don't all right. know which way. I think the llama should be that way. <laughs> nope. Open your eyes. <laughs> okay. Right, this this right. might be a little harder than expected. Yep. Yeah, he try it one more time and then maybe we'll just Away from not the music. do spinning. Away from the music. What's nice is all this music is royalty free. Straight from right. the YouTube Music Library. I think it's this way. Was that my one hit? Uh, you can try again. Oh. oh so close. Am I? <laughs> can I yeah. hit again? One more hit, one more All hit. Alright. Oh. Did it. I'm opening it. Bro, I'm right here! <laughs> the dom is just jumping! What? Oh, yeah. alright, you're up. Okay, I'm the. We'll stop spinning around, because then. What? We'll no, no, no. It. I spun. You gotta spin one more time. Okay, I'll spin your next turn. Uh, you don't spin, okay? Yeah, yeah. Spin, 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 spin. Aha, uh -huh, I heard a sound. Problem is, the llama makes doesn't make enough sound for you to notice it. <laughs> You're not close at all. I the music, okay. Y you went straight to the music, yeah. Alright, so how do I? Okay, how do we do it well, this time since we're not spinning? Clearly that's much harder. Do we just walk up, we just look down, walk up, and punch it? Or closing our eyes? Um... Yeah, just close your eyes and then you can go and try to punch it. Oh, I punched it. Close my eyes. Uh, it's not here. Oh, I went too far. Yeah, flip around. Yeah. That's... Oh! One second, one second. The llama landed on the ledge. 
Okay, it's off the ledge. Alright. Up a bit more. Hey! Uh, wait, I did I hit that? I found the strategy. Yeah, you hit it. Let's go. Okay, so I'm just gonna run. I think I'm at it. I turn around. I hear towards the music up with my crosshair. And nice, aha. you hit it as well. Okay, I want to aim up a little more. Um, and I think... Oh! Woohoo! Nice. Oh, I got the lead. Yeah. I knew you got a burrito. Get some. Get some burrito. of that. That's for you. Churros! Free slot of tacos. Free slot of churros. <laughs> what is this for? Is this... I get some the uh, coupons. Ah, like, can I put my helmet back on instead of the uh, pumpkin head? Yeah. All yeah, right. Let me take that off. Well, go. that was interesting. I guess I didn't need as many. Oh, we've actually gone a full loop already. It looks like All right. through the music. Let me turn it off. Shuffle mode. This is actually, you want to take a look sure, at behind yeah. the scenes? Yeah, sure. This took way too long for me to design. So, it, like, is shuffles this... through the music. So, here's the right here's the shuffle system. Yep. So, by default, it goes here and powers this, which is the hopper right under the barrel. Damn. Otherwise, when it's powered, it allows it through and up that water stream, but yep. it also powers this porch tower for the lamp All right. and then um, so basically this one over here is the play and pause so right now it's on play when it's on pause it powers redstone right there it goes up to the top and it will lock the hoppers leading into the jukebox All right. and that's basically it also, to skip, you can skip songs by just right-clicking Click. it. All right. Do you have a yeah, and it sign that says this, barrel, this is skip? So. No, but... And then they go into the barrel when they're done. All right. And then you just put music this in that barrel for them to play. And that's my jukebox system. All right. Very nice. You can see the hopper minecarts there. <laughs> can I... Buy some some of your stock. Yeah, sure. Just. All right. I would also like to two cash slots, in. replace it with a diamond. All right. I'd like to cash yeah, in with the coupons do as the well. Yeah, you can coupons instead of a diamond too. All right. Uh. Okay. Then... Yeah, I think that was a good opening party. We got the pinata game. We found the strategy. I think it was still pretty fun of a game, but. Yep. The strat is definitely. You you walk forward or spinning is way too hard, and then you just you gotta yeah. walk, forward, walk forward, turn around, turn around point then, up, boom. Yeah. Also, you gotta hope that the llama doesn't jump as you're hitting. Cause... Yeah. Well, I'd say that was a success of a Takaria grand opening. I still need to show Flowerson the, so we'll have like a second opening party sort of thing, but. I think that was pretty good for a first. Oh. A first opening party. I do not have a fence to fix that. That's fine. But the burritos are selling well. I think we, we've we already made like eight diamonds or something. I think those coupons helped us a bit. And I think the last thing we're going to have to do is trade, get a bunch of golden carrots. We have infinite pork chops already so that won't be too big of a deal and then also getting those cookies the cookies we need to trade for as well but i think we're pretty good on that front but that's all we've got time for today so if you liked the taqueria grand opening then make sure you leave a like you subscribe you comment uh bush kidnapping comment something and that's it for today. Goodbye.